Welcome to this Marksware instructional movie. In this movie I will show you how the powerful Marks Tools extension for Quark 6 and 7 works. How many of you have experienced this? You received a document and have tried to open it, but even though Quark is working hard to open it, it crashes leaving you with a crash report, if you're lucky. With a little help from Marksware, this problem can be a thing of the past, because with Marks Tools you have a powerful tool that can help you convert documents salvage damaged documents, and to verify documents. Furthermore, it enables you to extract text files from a document and to downsave documents straight to Quark version 4.1. But for now, we'll focus on the salvation of the damaged file we have just received. First of all, we select the document from File menu and click Open. Afterwards, we are prompted with some options. These are just some of the options that can be used, but the default settings will suffice most of the time. You can see that Mark's Tools kicks in and starts working on the document right away, and after just a couple of seconds the file is salvaged and opened, showing you the document as it was before the crash. Depending on the moment of the crash, Mark's Tools will restore all information it is capable of restoring, and as you can see, this document is restored to a normal court document that contains all necessary elements that it contained before the document crashed. You can now save the document like you would normally save it. Mark's Tools will verify the document for you so problems like this will no longer occur. Just another great feature of Mark's Tools. We always advise you to save the file under another name, and in this case I'll add the word restored, after which the document will be stored just like a normal Quark file. People working with older versions of Quark often experience problems not being able to open Quark 7 files that they've received. Mark's Tools is again the solution. When you normally try to open a Quark 7 document in Quark 6, it will tell you that this is not possible. This can be annoying, especially when you only have Quark 6 available on your computer. Using Mark's tools, you can now use the Convert Document File option and select the Quark 7 document. Mark's tools will convert your file and open it without any problems. Please note that new features from Quark 7 cannot be converted to Quark 6. Now, as you can see, Mark's Tools has opened the Quark 7 document in Quark 6, including all page layouts, elements, fonts, styles, and everything else needed. The document can now be edited and saved as a Quark 6 document. Now we're going to switch back to Quark 7 to show you another great function of the Mark's Tools extension. When we go to Mark's Tools menu, we can select Extract Text from Document File. When we pick the same Quark document we used before, the extension will extract all text from the document. The flattened text without character or paragraph styles is placed in a new Quark document. The document can again be edited and saved as a normal Quark document. As you can see here, the text is fully accessible and can be used for copying or exporting to another document or application. Okay, one last feature of Mark's Tools that makes this a must-have application on your computer. We now choose Convert Document File to version 4.1 from the menu. This extension will now convert the Quark 7 document straight to a Quark 4.1 file without using Quark 5 running under OS 9. On the desktop we will find the document with the QXD prefix indicating that it is a Quark 4 document. This concludes our video presentation on Mark's Tools Extension. For more information, you can go to our website at www.marksword.com slash markstools. This is Rick, signing off. Yeah.